Well, all right, let's get back to the local stuff. St. John's County hosting an annual legislative delegation public meeting. <laughs> this is hard shifting gears. Uh, St. John's County recently hosted its annual legislative delegation public meeting. The meeting took place at the St. John's County Auditorium in St. Augustine. The legislative delegation consisting of Senator Travis Hudson, Representative Cindy Stevenson, and Speaker Paul Renner. Oh. Received public testimony from 41 different organizations on various legislative issues, mm. appropriations, local bills, and other things. This year, the meeting was notable as it was broadcast on the Florida Channel for the first time. Oh, nice. I don't even know that that exists. Right. I don't even think that's a channel anybody watches. Oh. If it was broadcast here for the first time, that would be notable. You have mm. to pay another $22 a month. Right. For Typical. Oh, yeah. Florida Subscriptions. Channel. Okay. Uh, commissioners uh, welcomed the delegation and outlined the county's legislative priorities for 2024. These priorities include capital improvement projects aimed at enhancing transportation connectivity, emergency response capacity, and coastal protection. Hmm. The county expressed gratitude for the delegation's efforts in securing resources for the community. Uh, I will say those three had a pretty big year in bringing some money to St. They John's really County. Did. They, they definitely did. They definitely did last us year. right. They did us right. They they brought some money into St. John's County for sure. Uh, the 2024 Legislative Action Plan, unanimously approved by the Board of County Commissioners, requests over $69 million in state appropriations for various local projects. Uh, they include improvements to State Road 16, mm. completing County Road Tw 2209? 209? Mm. Establishing a central public safety station, developing a regional fire training facility, addressing persistent flooding at Porpoise Point, protecting properties from erosion in the South Ponte Vedra Beach area, and enhancing Genevar Park mm. with a boat ramp. Those boat ramps very important to us here in St. John's. They are, yeah. yeah. Boy, when there's an issue with boat ramps, people Grouchy. go wild. Yes. Sir, people, people. It's, it's sirs. Huh? People get sirs about it. Sirs. 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 All right, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, in addition to the local projects, the legislative, legislative action plan seeks the legislative support, uh, seeks the legislature's support for addressing critical statewide regional issues. Uh, the sheriff, Rob Hardwick, presented his priorities, including uh, the funding of a central public safety station and a backup communication center to improve emergency response capabilities. All right, that was pretty damn boring. Whew. Legislative yeah. delegation. Yeah, just those words mm -hmm. make me yeah. want to go to sleep. De delegation. Legislative delegation. I may have nodded off. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Troy. All right, here's something a little more exciting. Okay. Something for the kids, too. This is good for the kids. Safe for the kids. Trick or treating on St. George Street. How about that? Mm -hmm. yes. Once again, ancient city tours in St. George Street area. Merchants invite children to trick or treat in St. Augustine's downtown shopping district on Sunday, October 29th from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, the children in costume are invited to trick or treat at businesses that have balloons. Oh, so there'll be little markers, balloons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome signs posted on the door. There's going to be a photographer at 12 St. George Street to capture all the photos of the cute little goblins, princesses, princes, and superheroes. Cool. Yeah, man. Uh, Ancient City Tours will also host their annual virtual Halloween costume contest. For more information, you can visit uh, the Ancient City Tours Facebook page. Admission is obviously free. They're not going to charge you for this. And of course, it's Sunday, October 29th from 2 to 5 p.m. at all participating merchants in the uh, St. George Street area. Very nice, though. Yeah. There's a lot, because there's a lot of, like, roads and things that in infrastructure is going on, so there's not a lot of th opportunity for kids, you know, to be able to have, like, an organized front on trick-or-treating. So this is nice. I didn't know that this happened. Apparently, it's been, like, 25, 26 years, right? It's been going on? Uh, Yeah, something like that. I thought something, we were going to say since they did the last one. I was like, no, I don't think it's been that long. No, they you're did like, the last no. one. Yeah. <laughs> But this is nice. It's a good yeah. thing. Good, good time. Good time for the kids. Safe time for the kids. Yeah. yeah. So that's always good. Yeah. See, that was a case of like predictive hearing because I actually was listening the same way you, you, you. I was like, okay, no, they did it last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And and I, we both were predicting him. <laughs> that's to say something. something and he right. Never, he never said it. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So we cool. Mandela affected ourselves. That's so cool. Wow. Troy chiming in with some Mandela effect stuff. All right. 
penny for your thoughts. That's a fun one to Google and drive yourself crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the what? Effect. That didn't actually happen. I know. I know. Yeah. Snow, the evil queen in Snow White didn't ever say mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah. That is a weird one. That's a weird one. Yeah. That's a weird one. Never it, said it. It says magic mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. Yeah. What? That doesn't even sound right. Doesn't even magic sound mirror right. Magic mirror on the wall. Yeah. Magic mirror. And Sally Field, she never said, uh, she never said, uh, you like me. You really like me. She never said that. Mm. Never said that. Can you believe that? Your Oscar award. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Wild. I always thought she did. 